From one big game to the Olympic Games in Sochi, Russia, officials there are dealing with perhaps the only sporting event with even bigger security concerns than the Super Bowl. Mark Phillips is there. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Anthony Vanita. Well, officials here, of course, will be dealing with security and also with the other issue that's been dogging these games, gay rights groups complaining about Russia's anti-gay law as they see it. And there's development on that story as well as the gay rights groups have now attacked the games where they hope it hurts at the sponsorship. As threats go, police in Sochi seemed more concerned about the grim weather than the terrorists. These games held here among the palm trees in the most southern part of Russia may become better known for rain and mud than snow. A last-minute cleanup is underway, and there's a lot to clean up. The main Olympic site, built on a former swamp by the seaside, will be protected by a security force about 40,000 strong, part of the so-called ring of steel that surrounds the entire Sochi area. And the first members of the U.S. team have begun to arrive. Speed skater Shawnee Davis showed little worry about safety. Russia, I have no problems with Russia. Russia's a great place. But as Russia gets ready to welcome the world, gay rights have again been brought to the forefront. In an open letter, activists have now urged Olympic sponsors to speak out against the country's controversial law, barring what they call gay propaganda. It's an issue the organizers here hope will go away, but won't. We welcome everybody, regardless of uh, sexual orientation, gender, or religious, and everybody will be safe here. Welcome, but they hope quiet. Uh, there's an issue here as to how much gay activists will be allowed to speak out after their events, before their events, anywhere around the Olympics. It's a clash of cultures, and it promises to be just as interesting as some of the competition. Anthony, Vanita. Mark Phillips in Sochi, Russia. Thank you.